Preguntándome por qué yo te siento lejos Mira lo que se construyó de un simple deseo Pero si es para ti todo Welcome back to my channel So today I will be talking about my experience in Miami The things that I love, the things that I recommend The things that I don't recommend And so on and so forth So if that is something that you're interested in Then please keep on watching So well, let's start with the things that I loved from Miami One of the things I definitely recommend you guys see is the beach So for those of y'all who already know me Y'all know that I am obsessed with the beach I love the beach If I could be out there all day, I would definitely do that Oh my god, their waters are so pretty They're actually three different colors Which is kind of kind of weird um, it's like a like a brown light a light brown color, but I think that's only because of the seaweed off the on the shore And then in the middle, it's like a light clear a sky blue um, Color and then towards the end. It's like dark ocean blue and it's just the most beautiful thing ever So that's that's definitely one of my favorite things out there to see I spend most of my time out on the beach if I wasn't at the beach then I was out and about discovering new places over there um, trying out their mimosas their drinks their their nightlife or I was at the resort lounging it up you know the resort we stayed at was very very nice it was 12 stories high and on the top it had uh, some uh, hot tubs uh, big big pool and an amazing amazing view um, you can from the 12th floor you can see the sunset at 8 p.m. and the sunrise at 6 30 around there 6 30 a.m. and it's so freaking beautiful one of the most prettiest things I've ever seen in my whole entire life so gorgeous and I actually um, put a clip in in my um, my vlogs I did one with the sunset and the other one with the sunrise so you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already I did a whole time-lapse so you can literally see what I saw and it's so amazing another thing that I recommend that you guys um, do is go check out Ocean Drive Ocean Drive reminds me so so freaking much of Venice Beach it's so lively they have like a mini little gym in the middle and um, it reminds me of a uh, muscle, what is it called? Muscle Beach? Everybody's so fit out there. I'm just like, jeez. And um, I definitely, definitely got my coconut out there. So if you're on the lookout for a coconut, go to Ocean Drive and you'll see the little stands out there. It was the best coconut ever. Loved it. It also came with like a pineapple and like a cherry and like a little umbrella. Ocean Drive, there's also like a whole bunch of little like um, bars and restaurants and stuff. You guys can bar hop and try their, their food there. Um, there was a, this bar that a lot of people recommended we uh, checked out. Um, but honestly, like I didn't really, really like it. Um, the name of the bar was um, Mangoes and I don't know, maybe we went at a wrong wrong time or something but there was literally nobody dancing and stuff like it's something I didn't really like um, but yeah the one place I do recommend was um what was it called I'll put the name somewhere over here but it was a really really nice bar it had a pool it had an amazing DJ they stay open till 4 in the freaking morning let me tell you this Miami knows how to party okay if you're looking to stay up all night long and party all night long Miami's the place to be besides Vegas another thing that I kind of did not like there's so much traffic there so if you're looking to just rent a car and stuff like that I really don't recommend you do that unless you're like really gonna be traveling from like the end of Miami to you know the top of Miami then I guess do it but if you're just gonna be like going to like the spots I recommend you get a, a hotel near the areas that you're gonna be visiting and just uber um, I recommend uber but then again I don't recommend it because girl let me tell you what happened to me so we called an Uber. We were on our way to go eat something. I really don't remember. I think we were going back to Ocean Drive. It was around 9 p.m. And so, if you used Uber before, you know that the app lets you know when your driver is outside waiting for you 
Um, in our case, it was outside of our resort. And so we go outside and then the Uber is over here waving at us and we're like, oh, okay. And um, we tell him our name and he's like, yeah, yeah. And he tells us to get in and we're like, okay. Like he said, you know, this is our Uber. And so we get in and then he gets a call on his phone. We're like halfway there already to our destination. And he gets a call from a lady talking about, oh, are you coming already? Like, where are you? And he instantly just breaks and he's like, and he like reads the name off of his phone. I forgot what the name said, but he was like, you guys are Madeline or whatever the, the name he was supposed to pick up. And we were like, no, we confirmed with our name, you know? And he was like, oh, I, I picked up the wrong person. And then he kind of like pulls over and we look at him, we're like, you better take us back where you picked us up. I know he doesn't think we're just gonna get out here and then just, no. I don't know, I was just so freaking upset about it. But nevertheless, we didn't let him ruin our mood. We still got another Uber and he um, was amazing. Took us to the place efficiently, effectively, safely. If you Uber, you need to just remember to confirm the name, put the name side by side or something. I told you the downfall of Uber, but the, the good thing about Uber is that not only does it have this thing, well at least in uh, Miami it does, it has this thing called pool. Pool is uh, when you basically ride with another stranger. First I was very, very skeptical about this. I was like, I'm not gonna ride with no stranger, like, hell no, like, that's weird. But since it was me and another person, then there was only room for one more person. So we, I mean, if you're riding with a partner, I say go for it, do it. It's half the amount that you'll pay. If you're trying to save money and you know just see new places then I recommend you do it the good thing about the uber pool is that it doesn't take like your main roads like the highway and stuff it goes to like little little roads so you get to see more of the city so I don't know I liked it and after I did it the first time I couldn't stop doing it and honestly like I enjoyed it more than regular uber because you get to associate with other people from that city and ask them hey where are you going oh is this place good oh what where do you recommend so I definitely recommend you guys try uber pool at least once if you don't like it and it's not for you then obviously you're entitled to not ever do it ever again but yeah also um, ubering everywhere is so convenient if, especially if you're going out in the town and you're drinking oh my goodness I'm so sorry there's like a ray of light right here um, if you're going out and you're like drinking, then it's perfect because you don't want to drink and drive behind the wheel and, you know, that's dangerous. You're putting yourself in danger and you're putting other people in danger, so Uber. <laughs> and um, another thing is that you won't get um, charged for parking wherever you're going. Like, let's say you're going to a club, a bar, whatever. They're charging for valet. Bam! Uber drops you off right in the front, picks you up when you're ready, and that's it. So that was a good thing about um, Ubering everywhere. <laughs> um, what was another thing? Oh, here's another tip. If you guys are going to be drinking and you guys are going to be going back to your hotel and stuff like that, I recommend a thousand percent for you guys to get a 24 pack of water bottles and store some in the little fridge that they um, provide you at hotels because you are going to wake up thirsty as <laughs> be like Lexi <laughs> I waited until it was the point of no return okay I woke up at 1 in the morning dehydrated as heck as heck and so I ended up having to go to a 24-hour CVS to pick up some Gatorade and water because they try to charge you $7 for a water bottle. $7 for a water bottle. I was like, uh-uh. I was like, I'd rather die of you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it, show, comes to, it comes to show you that I bought a whole 24-pack of water and two Gatorades for just $6. So... Bro, if you, you're you at the point of no return, then go ahead and drink your $7 water. Do you. But I am not about to spend $7 on one water bottle, so I risked it all and 
walked my ass around the corner to the CVS. If you guys are in the Miami area and you guys appreciate art and um, murals, I recommend you guys check out Wynwood Walls. Their pieces are amazing. Oh my goodness, it's mind blowing the of how how people can get so freaking creative. Wynwood is a city filled with color and masterpieces everywhere you turn. Everywhere you turn there's colorful uh, buildings and paintings and it's so pretty. You guys have to check it out. If you guys want to see what I'm talking about then go check out my latest vlog that I just uploaded. Right, overall my vacation in Miami was incredible. I stayed out there for seven days but I shit you not it felt like two days. I had an amazing freaking time. And as you guys can tell, I got freaking tan. Like, like I need to go and buy another foundation because I'm literally like so tan. I don't match any of my foundations. So it's literally what I'm gonna do right after I'm done filming this video. Is go and color match my new bronzy little tan. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up for me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.